Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for simple snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial on data structures and algorithms and as the title of the video suggest today we are going to discuss more about infix prefix and postfix expressions and we are going to focus on why do we need these three different types of expressions and more specifically we are going to focus on how prefix and postfix formats that is the prefix and postfix notation are more suitable for machine reading and parsing rather than our regular infix expression now if you don't know what is infix prefix and postfix in the previous video tutorial of this playlist of this course we discussed in detail what these three different expressions are we also did cover a little bit on why do we need them but here i'm going to give you a little bit more examples so that the idea of infix prefix and postfix is very clear and why do we need a prefix and postfix which is more suitable for machine parsing in algorithms is going to be very clear by giving examples okay if you're new to my channel my name is tanmay sakpal and i do a lot of computer science and information technology video tutorials like computer programming development technology talks and a lot more on this channel so if that's something you're interested into then definitely subscribe and turn on the notifications to get the latest updates and never miss out on such important topics so on the left hand side I have mentioned why do we need three different expressions this is also covered in previous tutorial but just to sum it up infix expressions are more human readable so here's the infix expression which is a plus b star c where the operator comes in between the two operands okay so these are two operands and then there is a operator in between again over here also you can see there is a operator and then it is surrounded by two operands Now, quick note: We are talking about operators which are binary in nature, which means that they operate on two operands at a time. And moving on, prefix and postfix do not need the concept of precedence and associativity. Hence, it becomes highly efficient to parse expressions in prefix or postfix format. Okay, so we did discuss this in the previous tutorial, but just to sum it up, whenever you get an expression like this, let's say this is our infix expression, and I've given or assumed value of a three, b is four. and c is 5 so if you substitute these values in case 1 what can happen is we can say 3 plus 4 star star is multiplication plus 5 okay now we can either do 4 star 5 first and then add it with 3 or a second use case can be we can do 3 plus 4 first and then multiply the total with 5 both of these are possible and this is where the concept of operator precedence comes where we need to give each operator a precedence operator is this symbol and according to that the very first preference is given to parenthesis so the things or the expressions that come inside parenthesis should be evaluated first then we have the exponents then we have multiplication and division left to right i'll explain again what what is left to right and then we have addition and subtraction so in our example we have addition right we have a addition operator and we have a multiplication operator and according to the precedence multiplication comes before addition so this is simple arithmetic board mass rule that we learned in our junior stages of mathematics right so we know that obviously multiplication happens first so this is the correct way of going ahead right so we will do 4 star 5 which is 20 and then we will add it with 3 and this will be 23 so this result is a correct one however this case two is also possible right if we if you did not know the concept of precedence you could have gone ahead with this also in that case you would be 3 plus 4 which is 7 and then you do 7 star 5 which is going to give you 35 so you can see this same expression a plus b star c this is a infix expression where operator comes in between the two operands gives us two different results and then we have to pick one based on the operator precedence right so this is a ambiguity that is causing a little bit confusion when it comes to parsing this expression in a computer algorithm so in the computer algorithm when you are evaluating a infix expression you obviously need all these details of operator precedence as well as associativity registered somewhere stored somewhere so that when you evaluate this infix expression you apply all these operator precedence and associativity rules to this expression and then you come to this correct result otherwise you can get a wrong result also right so this was related to operator precedence now i'll explain to you what is associativity also let's take another example okay so here's another example of infix expression where we have two operators minus and plus now if you see the operator precedence rules in uh, 
priority number four, we have addition and subtraction. Both of them have same operator precedence, but there is something written in brackets left to right. So this is the associativity rule. So associativity describes the rule where operators with the same precedence appear in the expression. For example, an expression a plus b minus c, both plus and minus have same precedence, then which part of the expression will be evaluated first is determined by the associativity of those operators. And since it is left to right associativity, you have to evaluate this expression from left to right. So a minus b happens first. So again, two use cases can happen. We can say a minus b happens first and then whatever result we get after a minus b will be added with c or second case can be a minus b plus c happens first, right? b plus c happens first and whatever result we get we subtract it from a, right? Now obviously according to associativity rule, this first one is correct format. So if, to, if we substitute all these values, we have 3 minus 4 plus 5. So 3 minus 4 is minus 1, minus 1 plus 5 will give us 4, right? But if we go ahead with this second use case where we do not apply this associativity rule, let's say we go from right to left. So we calculate B plus C first. So what is B? 4. 4 plus 5 first and then we subtract it from 3. So it would be 4 plus 5 which is 9 and 9 minus 3 is going to give us minus 6. So you can see again two different results are coming from the same expression, right? So from the same expression, after evaluating this infix expression, we are getting two different results. That is plus four and minus six. So again, a confusion is created. Again, an ambiguity is created. And this is more relevant when it comes to parsing these expressions in a computer program, right? So in a computer program, we need to know operator precedence. We need to know associated rules and all these things need to be stored somewhere. So whenever this infix expression is evaluated, all these rules will be applied to it. So you can see it is not very efficient when it comes to, you know, computational arithmetic. So whenever you're performing arithmetic calculations on a computer system, in a program, in an algorithm, infix expressions are not really that efficient because all these rules apply to this expression. Okay, so this was infix expression. Now that you've understood why infix is not that efficient, how is prefix and postfix solving this situation? Okay, so let's again take the very first example. Okay, so as you can see, we have two approaches when it comes to infix expression and we are getting two different results. So 35 and 23, these two are not equal. So how does prefix expression solve this issue? Okay, so this same infix expression can be converted into a prefix expression. Now I've briefly explained how to convert it, but we will talk about the conversion manually in more detail in further videos. But right now, I'll just quickly tell you what we have to do when you have to do the conversions. So what we have to do, we have to take this expression. So let's say it is a plus b that is happening first. So since plus is coming in between, it's an infix expression. And when you are converting it to prefix, remember the operator comes before the two operands. So plus will come over here. Okay. So it would be plus a b. Okay. So this bracket is resolved. Then we have a star c, right? So now this is one whole operand and this is the second operand. And the star is the operator in between these two operands. So in prefix again, as I mentioned, star has to come over here. So ultimately this expression will look something like star plus a b and then we have c and if we remove the brackets now, ultimately we will result in star plus a b c. Okay. So this is the expression which is equivalent to the first use case of the infix expression. Now let's take a look at how the prefix expression would look like for this scenario. So here you can see B star C is calculated first. So star will come outside, right? So we will have star B C and then we have A plus, right? So again, this becomes one operand and this becomes another operand for this operator. So again, plus has to come over here. So ultimately when we resolve this, we will get plus A star B C. Okay, so this second infix expression looks like this in prefix format. Now, if you observe this, this infix expression a plus b star c remains the same in first and second use case. We just added brackets to determine which operation happens first. But if you observe these 
two same scenarios in the prefix format both these expressions are totally different you can see star plus abc and here we have plus a star bc so depending upon which operation happens first the entire prefix expression is completely changed so star plus abc will give us 35 and plus a star bc will give us 23 if you ultimately evaluate this the two separate expressions will give us two separate results now this adds a little bit more clarity right because now the order of operations and or operator precedence or associativity is not needed over here because now we are completely getting two separate expressions itself over here we only had one expression a plus b star c and we had to apply the operator precedence to know that b star c happens first but now in this case we don't need to apply operator precedence because we are getting two separate expressions itself right so this expression will always give us 35 and this expression will always give us 23 now similarly this a plus b star c in the postfix will look something like we will have a b plus because this plus will come after the operand and then this star will also come after the c so you will have a b plus c star and for this second scenario in the postfix we will have a b c star plus okay of course as i mentioned i'll explain to you how we can go ahead and you know convert and make these conversions happen in further tutorials we will see in detail what is the process to, to be followed but this first case will look something like this we will have a b plus c star so this is one expression and we have a b c star plus we have another expression for this second use case so infix expression remains the same and we have to apply operator precedence to evaluate or to you know to figure out which operation happens first but in postfix and prefix we completely get two separate expressions over here so a b plus c star will give us 35 and a b c star plus will give us 23 if we actually evaluate this later on so we are getting two separate expressions and these will give us this result only so only one result will be coming from this expression and only one result will be coming from this expression so there is no confusion here there is no need of operator precedence there is no need of associativity involved in postfix and prefix and hence prefix and postfix do not need the concept of precedence and associativity hence it becomes highly efficient to parse expressions in prefix or postfix formats and that is the reason why whenever you are performing arithmetic calculations in algorithms in, compu in computational programming Usually whenever you pass an infix expression, it is first converted or parsed into either prefix or more preferably in postfix expressions in postfix format because the algorithm that converts infix to postfix is much more, you know, straightforward, much more easy, which we will obviously see in further tutorials. But I just wanted to give you these two examples so that you understand why prefix and postfix is more preferred when it comes to algorithmic arithmetic calculations. Now the second example was left out. So let's quickly cover it. So in second example, we more importantly are needing the associativity concept because minus and plus have same operator precedence. So we have to go from left to right, right? And basically this first way or you know, the first case is correct. But let's look at how the prefix expression would look like for this first case. So we have a minus b, so minus comes first, minus a b and then we have plus c so plus will come over here and then we will have c so this is first use case or you know or this is how the first use case would look like in prefix format and this would always give us 4 and the same expression in infix would look something like this for the second scenario we have a minus b plus c so we have plus b c we will have a and then we have minus over here so minus a plus b c is what we will have for the second scenario and this will always give us minus 6 so you can see completely the expression is only changing so we are not worried about the order of operations the operator precedence we are not worried about associativity because this expression will always give us this result and this expression will always give us this result similarly in postfix the first infix use case would look like ab minus c plus okay this would give us 4 and this use case would look like abc plus minus then this would always give us minus 6 so depending upon how we want we can you know parse the expressions 
and then there is no confusion of getting multiple results and these were just two examples of basic expressions you know these were not very complex expressions i just took them so that i can explain to you why prefix and postfix is more preferred but imagine you have a very complex arithmetic calculation where you have multiple variables multiple constants and multiple operations also in that case you can get many number of possibilities if you are directly using infix expressions and not applying these concepts of operator precedence and associativity right and then your infix expression becomes very inefficient because every time you have to apply these concepts on every single operation inside that entire arithmetic expression so better to parse it in prefix or postfix to make that conversion first and then you are only going to get single result because each unique expression will give us one unique result only so yeah this was just an explanation of why prefix and postfix is needed and is highly efficient when it comes to arithmetic calculations in computer algorithms so if you've understood this video if you've understood why we have three different expression formats which is more human readable that is infix and why we have prefix and postfix please give this video a like let me know in the comments how this video was do share it with your friends this is important to understand in further videos we will see how to make these conversions happen we will take some examples and and we will practice them and later on we will also see how stack can be used to perform these calculations to perform these conversions because one of the major application of stack data structure is to perform these conversions from infix to prefix and what not so we'll see that in further videos as well so thanks for watching see you in the next one peace